All right, so good evening, Mr. Ernesto Portillo, and let's see who else joins over here. Yeah, it's only you right now, but that's okay. Hello. Hello, sir. Good evening, Alma. Good to see you. Mr. Mauricio Lima is just joining right now. That's great. All right. So let me just one second over here. All right, so how are you, everyone? So knowing mm -hmm. that this is the last day, you're going to see me, right? <laughs> Good evening. Good evening, Frank. This is so, the last the night. The, and, you, and you know it's the last class of the year as well that you're going to have. <laughs> well, yeah. You need, the way. you need vacation. A, a, yes, and you know what, what a student told me uh, from high school? That it was the last class of the decade. La última clase de la década. Well, <laughs> that's right. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Last class of the decade. He said that was like, okay, yeah, no, that, that's impressive, I said. <laughs> All right. So uh, I have a lot of activities uh, prepared for you. So oh. hopefully, so hopefully we have uh, piñata y todo, right? Piñata and everything, right? <laughs> we wish, right? Okay, and then hopefully we're gonna have enough time to finish uh, all I have for you. So let me get the presentation over here. Okay, I found it, and. Uh, let me just share the screen. And here we go. All right, so officially, as you were saying, Frank, is the last, the last class of the year, the last class of the decade, like a student said to me, and the last class of this module, all right? Which, you know, I'm happily to, uh, I would say, to, um, to be here and help you as much as I can. So just a friendly reminder, uh, the platform, if you haven't finished with everything over there, it closes at midnight, which means we only have like three more hours after this, okay? So if I were you, you would, uh, you know, I, I would uh, hurry up. But right now, let's just start with this, okay? Can somebody tell me if you have any idea what this expression uh, might mean? Let's see, like literally, or if you can use it in, in any other context. Maybe you saw the answer over here, but that's okay. I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> so what's the meaning of this expression over here? Way to go or way to go. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Like you, 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 you do it, perfect, we go. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. You say, congratulations, yes, as, as, as it says over here, you know, congratulations, you know. They give you a pat, a pat on, on, the, on the back and they tell you, yeah, congratulations, you know, you did it, all right, good job. Way to go, so tiene el camino por delante. So that's basically what they, what they are trying to tell you. So right now, let me tell you, so way to go, everyone. We made it until the last uh, date of the week last date of the module and so congratulations it's way to go all right so way to go and so i've been asked i've been asked by ingles corporativo to ask you you know to complete the platform you know you're gonna do it with me but actually we're gonna do something i would say similar as the platform but i want you to do it let's say individually Okay, so the only exercise out of the platform that you're gonna be completing in this class is just the listening. Because I think that, you know, listening always helps you. The rest, I think I do alternative uh, practices with you, o sea, practicas alternas, that, uh, that I think are maybe not better, but really help you practice your English, all right? So right now, let me send to you the MP3 which I got from the platform, and I'm gonna share it with you right now in 
to the WhatsApp. And so I want you to open that and then look at my screen and take this quiz right now, please. If you don't mind. So I'm sending this right now. And then once you are able to open it, let me know, please. I'm going to take this screen away. Uh, uh, let me just clean this. All right, so trust me, I don't really like to uh, spend too much time on doing this, like, because I know that you, you work on the platform uh, at, at your own time, your own pace and everything. But right now, since this is part of the final exam, I really need to do it because it's about to close. And if you haven't done it, it's going to help you. And if you did it already, it's a review. So how do you say auto evaluation? How do you say that in English, by the way? I think we saw that last time. Double check. You can say double check as well, but there's also Frank a literal translation. Okay. I think I, I said. Excuse me. Yes, you say self assessment, right? You say self, como de uno mismo, self assessment. Let me send it to you. So the way I see this listening is like a self-assessment, okay? So that's how I see it, all right? It's a self-assessment. So what you can do right now, all right? Because I really want you to have access to this. Look at my screen, all right? So look at my screen over here on, on PowerPoint and then play the listening, the audio in your cell phones if you have it in your WhatsApp already. All right, I'm just going to be quiet and just, then you let me know, please. Tell me about your family, Catherine. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, I have four sisters, Annette, Sarah, Bill, and Liza. Wow, that's great. And do you have any brothers? Yes, I have three brothers, Ed, Mark, and Sam. And we all eat dinner together each night. All, all my brothers and sisters and my parents. Oh, fun. It's like having a party every night. Yeah, I guess it is. Two. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you again. Hey, where are you working now? I'm working full-time for a newspaper. I'm a photographer there. Wow, that's interesting. Are you still living at home? No, I'm not. I'm living in an apartment with Jim. He's an old friend from school. So you're not married? No, not right now, but I am getting married this summer. Congratulations. Thanks. Three. How often do you exercise, Sharon? Well, I go jogging about twice a week. Oh, really? And do you ever go to the gym? Yes. I usually go on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Wow. How long do you spend there? around two or three hours each time I go there. Well, you're not a couch potato. That's for sure. Four. Listen to this, Kylie. It says here, in Australia, most married couples have children. Well, that's true. My parents have two kids, my sister and me. In my country, we have really big families. There are 12 people in my family. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? Well, well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones are married with children. Are you all living in the same town? No. My two older brothers are single and working abroad. But the others live near our parents in the same town. All right, so I'm sorry about the size of this. I thought I had, I had saved this in, in the in the slide, but apparently I just saved the, the first two ones over here. But let me just move on. Okay. All right, I think I can go full screen with this. Uh, give me just one second over here, all right? So let me erase this and I'm going to paste the other ones like very quickly and then we're gonna take it from there, all right? 
So just one sec. All right, so just give me one moment over here while I save this, you know, correctly as the way I was supposed to save it before. All right. I mean, you can play the listening one, two times, so it doesn't really matter. All right. So that's okay. No, I think I'm gonna be using the same screen over there, all right? Since uh, we don't really have a lot of time, so let me just keep on sharing this, the same screen. Uh, I cannot like go zoom in this, I don't know. Yeah, I think I can go right now. Let's go over here. And all right. So what what's the answer on the first one, by the way, since this is, I would say, uh, yeah, a self-assessment. I'm gonna ask this in general. So I'm gonna ask you, so Frank, would you like to help us please on the first one and, and tell us please which one is the, the yes. best response over here? Thank you. Yes, I have the answer. And Catherine has four brothers and sisters. Yes, that's right. All right, what about number two, Frank? Nowadays, Mark is living. Mark is living with a friend. With a friend, right, all right. Thank you. Uh, let me ask, uh, let's see, Alma, if you, if you want to help us. Thank you, Frank. Let's see, number three, Sharon usually goes to the gym. When? On Thursday, twice a week, uh, three times a week? On Thursday. On Thursday, right? Yes. Oh. And, and what, about, what about this one? Some of the men's no younger, teacher. is it Thursday or somebody or something else? Three times a week. Yeah, it's three times a week. Is it three times a three week? Times a week. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yes. What about what about number four? Some of the men's younger brothers and sisters are in school, have one child, or are working abroad. Excuse me. I am working abroad. I'm All right. So. Abroad. All right, so who has are working abroad and who has like our, our um... I have a, I'm in school. You have iron in school, that's what you have. Now let's do something over here then. Let's, let's, uh, let me play it for you, all right? So let me play it for you and just, I'm going to the, you know, play the listening until the last thing over here. So you can actually help, help me uh, on, take this quiz, all right? To listen to me right now so pay close attention please all right oops you see that's why i don't really like to work over here in the, in the platform <laughs> okay Can play it again, please, in your cell phones, and let me know, please, because I haven't actually uh, have the opportunity to listen. What? So, what's the answer, Frank? 
Actually, the answer is the number one are in school. <laughs> are in school, right? Okay. Yeah. Thanks for clarifying that, right? Your other brothers uh, uh, working abroad. Are the ones working abroad, all right. Yeah, younger brothers, right? Yeah, are supposed to be in school and the, the older ones are, are working abroad. Yes, that's the way it is. So let's move forward over here, please. Uh, so the next next activity that I have for you is the following, all right? As I said yesterday, so we're going to be, hold on. We're going to be practicing uh, present continuous versus the simple present, all right? Present continuous versus the simple present. And as you see here in this, uh, In this uh, uh, image, it says complete the sentences, use the simple uh, present versus the present continuous of the verbs given. And it's just, this This is my Aunt Barbara, she lives in Rome, but, etc. right? Remember that we use the present continuous for actions that are happening right now as we are speaking, but also for actions that are temporary, okay? Now you may say, uh, studying English is something temporary, so that's the present continuous. So you're gonna be completing this uh, exercise five and exercise 11, which is complete these sentences about your country. Use the words in the box. What are these? These are quantifiers, okay? And once you finish, you're gonna come back to the main station and then there's this uh, conversation that you're gonna practice. It's about bookstore shopping, just like the one you practiced yesterday, okay? And then you see here this one, but we take it from there. All right. So right now, uh, try to complete this with a classmate, this one, and then you complete the other one. All right. So let me open the, the breaker rooms uh, right now. So just one sec. If you already got a screenshot of this, uh, go ahead, please, and share it with your other classmates, if you don't mind. Thank you. Or you think that it is to take? For me, he ta he's taking some some classes here. Ernesto? Yes. And I don't know. Uh, I not have an idea. Do you agree or no? Do you agree? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Which one are you working on right now, eh, Lorena? Uh -huh. What number? What number are you doing right now? One. Number one. You are doing. Mm -hmm. 
in Chile in the summer, then oh, okay. give some summer classes. She's taking some summer classes there, yes. Take, take some summer classes. She's taken, okay. taken, taken, right? Oh. Taken. Mm -hmm. The first one, Ernesto? There are what? Well, single person. Ah, working in London. No, 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 because. They work. Uh, working. They live in Melbourne. Yes. They work in London. Work in London. In, in London. They are. They are. They are in vacation. On vacation right now, yes. Mm -hmm. Look! Look at the, the the pictures over there. Look at the images. They, they're gonna help you. Those are the clues. Number three, and here you can. They are on vacation right now. They are working in London. They are working in London, or they are works in London. They are Hello, B? Uh, Carla. <laughs> that one yes, is they, they work in London, like that's what, where they work, but now they are on vacation right now. Mm -hmm. The present continuous B. Yes, correct. You, but you say they are working I mean, I'm sorry, or they are, yeah, they are, uh, yeah, they are on vacation right now. You can say it just like that. Okay. Entonces, yeah, they are workers, works in London. They are. You just say, you just can say they are on vacation just like that right now, just like that. They are on vacation right now, just like that. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. They are on vacation right now. Vacation, okay. just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Number three, and here you can see my grandparents. They, they aren't working but in now. Uh -huh. look, look at the time expression. The time expressions are the ones that give you the clues over there. No, they are retired. Hold they on, are, yes. They aren't working now. And the four, this is my brother. They right? are retired. Yeah. Exactly, ya están jubilados. They are retired, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is my brother in law, Edward. He to be a company. He is waiting to be a company di director. He wants. He wants no. to be a company director. He is studying business in Canada right now. Mm -hmm. Exactly. If you have right now or, or now, that's the present continuous. And then and the first, he is one way. No. No, he wants to be a company director, like I want to be an actor, you know, <laughs> just like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. He is a study. And, and that's he why he is studying. studying business in Canada right now, to be the company director. Okay. He's my, mm -hmm. and my this niece, Christina. Uh -huh. And this goes, is my niece, Christina. She, she goes uh, to high school. Uh -huh. And she, she likes mathemat mathematics, but, but she isn't, she doesn't like. She, no, she doesn't like. She doesn't like uh, English. English, yes. Now, just remember she this. Like. You use the simple present to talk about routines or habits or, or permanent actions. That's the simple present. For example, you say, okay, let me talk about, uh, let, let me uh, talk to you about myself. And I can start. So, my name is Jose Francisco. I live in Mexicanos, etc., etc. I'm a teacher. I work at a school. I teach English. I teach uh, social studies. 
I work at night or I work in the evening, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But right now I'm working from 8 to 10 p.m. due to COVID-19. So I'm using both the simple present and the present continuous. And, and that's why, as you can see, Carla and Rosa, this is a description of the family, right? It's a description mm -hmm. of the family, like my parents, grandparents, el cuñado, brother-in-law, and then you have my niece, Cristina, sobrinos. Mm -hmm. Everybody is, is, is in here in this description, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the logic. That's the logic over there. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're very welcome. Thank so, if you finish already, let's go back to the main session then. All right, please. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you. Welcome back. I know, I know that I, I said that you were supposed to practice these two uh, exercises, right? But right now, I have to, uh, you know, bring you back just to give you some feedback, and maybe just to help you out with the with, with the first one, okay? With the first exercise, which is this one about the uh, the present present continuous versus the simple present. Yes, and for some of you, maybe it was a little bit, I would say, confusing to see, uh, like, for example, in this number two, is it, is it they are working in London or they work in London? Because you don't have a time expression. And if you have, let's say, right now, this month, this year, that's the present continuous. But if, if you have every day, every night, that is a habit. That is the simple present, right? Why? Because we use the simple present for habits, for routines, for the states, or for permanent actions. Like I can tell you, I'm a teacher, and that's a present that the simple present because you know I am, you know. So I, I can tell you I was a student, that's the past, right? Or I am a student right now because I'm studying something else, maybe economics, or maybe I'm studying another foreign language. Okay. So don't get surprised, for example, on this one, on number two, this one, if you don't see that present continues like I am doing, right? Or I am studying, or I am staying, right? Or I am enjoying, just like that. So don't, don't, don't you worry if you don't, if you don't have this structure over there. But it, as long as the meaning is the present continues, all right? And one more thing, this one has, I would say it has a logic, all right? And it has a sequence. O sea, tiene secuencia esto. There's a logic over here. Because she's saying, this is my Aunt Barbara, this one, this image, number two. And these are my parents. These are the parents over there. What about this picture? Okay, these are my grandparents. Retire means jubilados, right? Retire, all right? Next one, what about this one? This is my brother-in-law, Edward. Okay, mi cuñado. And this is my niece, niece. Sobrina, okay? So if you say, uh, I am a doctor, I am a housewife, uh, etc., that's the present, right? The simple present, okay? You don't necessarily have to see, leave, go, study, etc. just for, the, for this one. Let me ask you, any volunteers who would like to help me with number one and number two very quickly, and then we do three, four, and five, and we move forward with the other exercises that I have for you, please. One person, please. Thank you, Lorena. Go ahead, please. One and two, please. This is my my 
and Barbara to meet in Roma, but she is visiting Chile this summer. She's taking some summer classes there. And these are my parents. They they work they work in London. They are on vacation right now. Thank you so much. And something that I really need to emphasize and tell you, you know, like I would say some tip or I would say some advice that, you know, actually really helped me when I was learning English, when I was beginning to learn English. The simple present you use it, you know, to introduce yourself, to talk about somebody else, to talk about occupations, you know, your job, okay, your routines, your habits. That's the simple present. For example, I can, I can ask you, let's say, uh, uh, Mr. Arturo. So Arturo, I can ask you, uh, talk about yourself. I can ask you, you're gonna say, okay, hello, my name is Arturo. I am 30 or 40 years old. I have two children. I live blah, blah, blah. My job is this one. I, I wake up, I go there. So that's a simple present. And you can combine it with the present continuous. Right now, uh, I don't have a job, you can say, or I'm working at a, at a different company, et cetera, et cetera. So that's a simple present and, and, the, and the present continuous in real life, okay? All right, somebody else that would like to help me, please, with number three, and four, three, four, and five. Three, four, and five, if you don't mind. With the responses, or should I choose over here? So let me choose uh, Rosa, please, if you, don't, if you don't mind. Thank you, Mrs. Lopez. <laughs> Adivinera. <laughs> Yes. Raise your mind, raise your mind over there. <laughs> Go ahead, please. Three. And there you can see. And there you can see my grandparents. They are aren't, uh, uh, aren't working now. They are retired. Yes. Um, this is my brother in law, Edward. He wants to be a company director. He is studying business in Canada right now. Mm -hmm. and, and this is my niece, Christina. She, she goes to high school. She likes uh, mathematics, but... Uh, <laughs> but she doesn't like English. English, thank you so much. So that's what I was telling you, una autoevaluación, you know, a self-assessment. This is a self-assessment. What if I asked you, let's see, Frank or Carla, uh, tell me about yourself. You have to start to tell me uh, your uh, personal, if you want, and your uh, professional life, okay? In a job interview, they can also ask you, tell me about your family. And this is a good example, okay? I live with my parents, or I'm married, et cetera, et cetera, right? I have three years of experience working for a company, and this is my job. I love my job, et cetera, right? I speak two languages. You can say, uh, I speak Spanish, I speak English, so I'm bilingual, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, nice. I appreciate your time, by the way, in, in your uh, participation, 936. Let's move forward with this one. But we're gonna do this, let's say, uh, along with, es decir, a la par, or no, together, along with, right, along, let me send that expression to you, along, right, junto, along, over there. With, the following a conversation which is bookstore shopping all right if you're the type of person who uh, enjoys some good reading time okay i think you're part also of my club all right and you enjoy the time going to bookstores shopping i've been to downtime a couple of times to get uh, books over there and it, it's a, it's a great experience but you gotta be careful so that's the conversation you're gonna have in this case, it's gonna be the father with the son. All right. And let me ask Arturo, would you like to help us please just to read the questions, right? No, all the questions over here. Number one, number two, number three, and the other ones. Thank you. Okay. What did young man buy at the bookstore? Number two, the son say he carries the smartphone because number three what else do the son have with him thank you and what about number four and five please okay how did how did he play for everything 
and about when and number five about when does the conversation take place all right thank you Arthur. i appreciate that so the first one you know it's a teenager right it's run uh, is this guy's a son so how did how did the young man buy a, a no why did the young man buy at the bookstore maybe some paper five pencils let me just uh, assume this all right That's, so some paper five pencil and an eraser maybe three books pens and an eraser notebooks pencil pencil right you don't say pencils you say pencils pencils all right and then the son says he carries two smartphones why his one iphone is broken he stays in touch with different people one of them doesn't work very well uh, what else does the son have with him suntan uh, lotion food or a jacket all right suntan means bloqueador para el sol right uh, the next one so how did he pay for everything by check with a credit card or in cash Number five, uh, as you said, Arturo, when does the conversation take place? Is it in March? Is it in June? Or is it in January? So right now, let me send to you the access to this. And please take the listening individually. And immediately, I'm going to send you to the breaker room. And remember, you're going to practice the conversation and the exercise about quantifiers. Okay? Please. All right, let me just one second come over here so I can send this to you. And, you know, and I'm sorry to be, you know, a little bit running with you right now, but I really need to cover, you know, some material that I think is going to help you. Okay. So just one moment over here. Yes, that's the correct one. And there you go. All right. I'm also making the breaker rooms, so you're ready to practice this in the other uh, grammar exercise. Okay. Thank you. Listen to this right. Son, what are you Dad? Dad? Son, what are you doing here down at the beach? I thought you said you were going to buy some things for school. Well, uh, Dad, I did buy some things. Well, what did you buy? What do you have in your backpack? Terminó. Your mom and the other. I call. Hola, hola. Yeah. Wait, two smartphones? Yeah, well, um... What, what do you mean with two smartphones? Well, I use one to call your mom, and the other, I call my, um, my teachers. Yeah, 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 that's it. Right. And, uh, yeah. And what else did you buy? Well, um, yeah, I have a new iPad. A new iPad? What do you need a new iPad for? 
well, you know, my birthday is coming up. Your birthday isn't until June. That's six months away. Well, mom thought it was a good idea. And I have, let's see, what else? Two cheeseburgers, some fries, and oh, unmelted ice cream. How did you pay for all that? Well, uh, whoop, uh, time is passing. Gotta go. Bye, Dad. Hey, where's my credit card? Come back. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, he's gonna be in trouble with his dad later on. <laughs> okay, I can, I, can, no, but, I can understand. Yeah, me too. <laughs> that, that's okay. That's why I chose it because, you know, with this. I'm <laughs> yeah, I mean, but that's okay. So don't worry about that. Let's, let me share the, the, uh, the script with you, all right? With everyone right now. It's actually funny because the son, you know, bought many things. Uh, he went to the bookstore, but he bought many things with a credit card. So, and that's, that's the main idea for this. All right, so just one second. Let me send this to you right now. There you go. You have the script over there. It's a little bit difficult because they modified the voice, you know, because they are puppets. So they're marionettes mm -hmm. because they are puppets. Yeah, so yeah, they, modify, yeah. they modified the voice, so that's why it's it's they are puppets over there, right? I got it. This great. Nice. <laughs> this puppet. I... <laughs> <laughs> well, a little yeah. bit crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I had three notebooks, five pencils, and <laughs> an eraser. <laughs> three notebooks, five pencils, and an eraser. Two smartphones. <laughs> well, I used to want to call Uno Walt to come on my mom and the father. I call you my teacher. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else do you buy? Well, I have a new iPad. A new iPad? Why do you need a new iPad for? Well, I know. Her bathing is coming out. Your birthday six is months. on June. It's yeah. six months. <laughs> June, that's six months away. <laughs> well, mom, that was a great year, and I have left you know, two cheeseburgers on freezing who melts ice cream. How do you pay for all that? Oh, time spacing. Gotta go. Bye, Dad. Hey, there. Where is my credit card? Come back. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Yeah, he's he's a he's a naughty kid, you know, naughty Malia, naughty. Naughty, see. Yes. <laughs> nice. So let's, let's try to practice with Arturo here. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Notebooks, not corpus. <laughs> Some paper, five pencil, and and as a rice, and a rice. Yeah. Okay. He bought the whole bookstore, toda la la librería, compró. <laughs> <laughs> si me equivoqué, tengo una teacher. But that's okay because this one was a little bit difficult because it's puppets, you know, o sea, marionetas, and the the voice is like. What are you do, 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 do. Yeah, just like that, right? Class. Yes, yes. <laughs> he has difficult, difficult, yes. difficult. Yes. Nice. Now let's try to practice, please. Okay. Era notebooks. Notebooks, verdad? Quizá era como un error gramatical, Alba. Ah, que parece que. Ah, ese son. Well, let's see. I had. Three notebooks, five pencil in English. Ah, entonces no tenemos que poner um, three books, sino three so notebooks. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. mm. Only notebooks. Mm, uh, no listening. Yeah. No okay. it, was, it was difficult. It was difficult, you know. 
but in the mm. in the second we have a you have a doubt uh -huh. because este the, in the conversation you say that he need a smartphone to talk with her grandmother and his teacher uh -huh. but no hay ninguna respuesta a eso. <laughs> No, but the, the thing is, says, it says, well, I use one to call you and mom, and the other uh -huh. I call my, my teacher. So he, he uses the first cell phone to call his mom and his, and, uh, and his father, right? Uh, and, uh, and the other one, the teacher. So he stays in touch with different people. With, with the second, don't you? Yeah, no, but also he says that the one of his, uh, his take exactly, he's, he stays in touch with different people, yes. Uh -huh, okay. And that's logical. O sea, ¿cómo va a decir usted que va a tener dos solo porque habla con esta persona? <laughs> <laughs> that's no, that, that okay. makes no sense, right? <laughs> uh -huh. Makes no sense. Uh -huh. Okay, it's only that. All right, so let's try to practice. This is a very, I would say, funny and interesting listening, you know. Maybe that the sound like the voice it was just like this, right? A little bit difficult to understand, but in the end the message is is really nice. It's really nice. And the other is a conversation. Yes. Uh I sent I sent I sent to you the, the script. It's on WhatsApp already. Okay. The script. The script of the conversation. It's on WhatsApp right now. So So this one, take a look. Uh, oh, yeah. okay. The same one, the same, I send it to you in WhatsApp. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Is this, yes, all right. You follow? And you are the son. Yes. So, early, vamos a poner a lot of them, right? Sí. The student have a full-time job. No. 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 Yes, you know, I'm um, la migra, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Migration, right? Okay. Ice. We will try to, to add you some questions later after this day. We can do that. Yeah, that's okay. okay. Yeah. Yes, you can do that. Yes, definitely. Of course, you know okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna block you from from my WhatsApp. I mean. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So what do you have? What do you have over here? Let's see, Alma and, and then Lorena. Young people go to college. What do you choose? All, all, all young people go to college. Yes, but we're, yes. We're, we're talking about public school and in, in college, but yes, we don't have too much options. Yeah, <laughs> yes, we only have one public one public university, right? Which is US. Yeah. <laughs> if, you know, if it wasn't if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be a teacher because I study because I got a scholarship to study over there. Oh, okay. Yes, that's why. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, and then we have people who study English. That's a good. That's a good statement. Study English. Nearly all. Yes, I would say that nearly all. Right. Right now, English yeah. has like has like a boom. Right. It has like a boom. Right mm -hmm. here. That's correct. Yeah, yeah married couples, more than five children. Yeah, I would say it's like this, right? Yeah. Elderly people have part time jobs, we say a lot of. Yes, because due to IFPS, right, over here, you can now uh, retire, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happens. You know, children have part time jobs because if they have. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly. So you would say no, right? No students. That's okay, right. No. Here, in El, here in El Salvador, it, either if you study uh, 
you can know uh, work or vice versa, right? So uh -huh. that's how it works. That's how it works. Yes. yes. The last one. Some. Some. We got some. Yes. Okay. We go to, yes. To study English. To study English before COVID nineteen, right? <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to, you have no option. <laughs> before, 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 before coronavirus, you just send them to school, right? Go, go study on Saturday. Leave me alone, right? <laughs> Give me a break, right? <laughs> nice. What, what about, let me just, let me just go back, I would say, to the conversation. What do you think of the conversation? Do you think it's, I, I don't know, maybe interesting, funny, because the, the kid, the son, it's, it's a character, right? It's un personaje, it's a character, you know, it's a character. But in the number three, uh -huh. um, he said that, that he, want, he buy a, a new iPad, and, and we don't have iPad in the options, we have uh -huh. There, there's some there's a mistake over here actually i think but but it, but it's actually he has two cell phones that's true he has yeah. two cell phones he, they yes he stays in touch with different people yeah yes that's the one that's the one yes yes imagine this i have one cell phone for, you know to speak to you and then i have the other one to speak to my teacher so <laughs> that this is for my work and this is my personal yeah that happens yes but it's i would say it's just the number right not the cell phone yeah. <laughs> that happens in hearing el sapo you have the option to have two two uh sim cards right two chips <laughs> uh-huh that's the other team over there nice let's go back to the main station and i'm gonna ask you a big favor so alma and lorena uh, i was checking the other rooms and i think you are like Maybe the first ones to finish both the conversation and the quantifiers. So you're gonna help me with the conversation, please, to practice. All right. Thank you. Bye. -bye. See you. Then. All right, so uh, welcome back everyone. Thanks for still staying here or being here. Right now, uh, Mrs. Peña, which means Lorena, is gonna help us practice this conversation with uh, Alma, all right? So maybe you want to be the father, Lorena, and then Alma is going to be the son. So I'm ready when you're ready, all right? Okay. Oh. What are you? Dad, Dad. Mom, what are you doing here? Sit down at the beach. I thought you say you were going to buy something for school. Well, oh, Dad, I did buy some things. <laughs> well, what did you buy? What do you have in your backpack? Well, let's see. I have three notebooks, five pencil, pencil an eraser, and oh yeah. Wait, a smartphone? Well, um... What? What do you smartphone? Well, I just want to call, to call you and mom. And the other, I, I, I call my, oh, my teacher, yeah, 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 that's it. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Um, yeah. 
sun. Um, like, what uh, is, yeah. What, mm -hmm. what is it you think about? Well, mm -hmm. you know, my birthday is coming up. Uh, okay. Me perdí, me perdí. <laughs> Un poquito, a little bit. Yeah, it would be, in, what else did you buy? So Lorena is asking, what else did you buy? This one. You have to, to, to go, well, um, mm -hmm. continue. Yes, so what else did you buy, Alma? Well, um, yeah, I have. You got lost over here, but that's okay. So, so let me, let me uh, take, excuse me? Mm -hmm. Let me take over, I'll continue. Well, um, yeah, I have a new iPad. Mm -hmm. iPad? What do you need a new iPad for? Well, you know, my birthday is coming up. <laughs> Your birthday is in, is in until June. That's three months away. Well, mom thought it was a good idea and I have, let's see, what else? Uh, two cheeseburgers. Some fries and oh, um, melty ice cream. <laughs> How hard did you pay for all that? Well, uh, uh, time is passing. Gotta go buy that. And I think I didn't copy the rest over here. <laughs> 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 yeah, but it, but if you have it, let me just go back over here because I'm gonna. We gotta finish over here because the last part is very 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 funny, by the way. All right. Okay. Sorry about that. Yes. And so, how do you pay for all that? Um. Uh huh. Father, try to finish. Do you have any yourself? All right. Okay, my father, how did you pay for all that? <laughs> well, uh um, -uh, time is passing. Go to go buy that. Uh -huh. Okay, where's my credit card? Come back. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem over there. Yeah. So. <laughs> but uh, that's that's the that I would say very very uh, uh, funny. But at the same time, I mean, the father is worried. And I would, that's why the kid just went away, right? So the, the problem over here is that the kid was supposed to be in the bookstore, not at the beach, right? So that's the problem over there. And, and he grabbed the credit card. So that's, that's the problem over there too. All right, so let's continue. Uh, <laughs> so now if I show this, uh, I would say this presentation again, just like this, you're going to relate. Take a look. Uh, let me just minimize this very quickly. I would say the listening was a little bit challenging, ¿verdad? Desafiante, because it's, they try to make this video with two puppets, right? So, and that's the thing over there. So it's not really bookstore shopping, right? That's why it is in quotation marks. That's why it is in quotation marks. Por eso tengo comillas. Like, he wasn't really in bookstore shopping, right? <laughs> he was enjoying with his friends, right? And his father got it red-handed, red-handed, con las manos en la masa, red-handed, right? Yeah, I would say the father, uh, I'm sending this to you, called him red-handed, just like that, con las manos en la masa, red-handed. So that's the one over there. There you go. Now that I, I, I'm sharing with you, with you this vocabulary, I, I just uh, remember, if you finish the vocabulary words, let's say like the 16 words and the sentences, you can share them with me, that's okay. It's not mandatory, but it would be just great. All right? And just to finish uh, everyone with, uh, with this class, I would say, that is the, the cherry on, on top of the cake, la cereza del pastel. We're gonna be practicing with this, with the quantifiers, right? And this is, these are gonna be some open questions that I want you to practice, let's say in two or three minutes, and then we come back, all right? But if you, ha if you don't have, really have time, I'm just gonna share it with you so you can do it later, because actually the class 
is officially over. So we're basically done over here. You see, it's 10.04 already. But let's, let's, let's do the, the, this last exercise and, and then we say just goodbye, all right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna try to answer these questions with your classmate, like speaking. For example, I can ask Arturo, when you go, when you go shopping, what do you usually buy, Arturo? Some food, I will, I will go to the mid sex section, you may say, or, I, or you just grab a can or something. So that's where you're gonna, that's where you're gonna buy. I, I, I buy some, in that way you're using a quantifier. Talk I, about I the, buy some, some, some food. Uh -huh, you may say, I buy some food, like canned food, uh, cream, etc. right? Or some milk. Talk about the quantity of each thing you buy. You may say that, right? Can you ever have too much money? Not really, right? I never have enough money, you may say. What is something you have too much of? Or how much free time do you have? I don't have free time, you may say. Or I don't have a lot of free time. Or I almost don't have free time, etc. All right? So let's try to do that for, for two minutes. Let me send to you the, the information and you're going to be practicing in person. With that, we say goodbye. All right? Thank you. Let's go to so, just one second over here. Uh, there you go. All right, so please join the, uh, the rooms and then we're done. No sé, no compro nada. <laughs> um, uh, 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 <laughs> yeah. Just a six pack. A six pack. For example, when, when I go to shopping, yeah. I usually buy a t shirt or um, food. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, in, in these days, in this day, I... can you ever have such much money? I don't have too much money. I always pay with my credit card. <laughs> oh, yeah. When I go to buy, I pay. I only go. And I only go to buy two or three things, and I buy twenty or thirty things. Then I, I, um, I never. Go with money, yes, with my credit card. It's better. And you? Well, I pay with my, with cash. I mm -hmm. cash. Okay. What is something you have too much of? Maybe shoes or ties, corbatas, ties maybe, or shirts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be it, right? Or, or I have too many, you may say I have too many pair of shoes or a pair of socks or, or no, you don't no have... Pregunta, ¿Qué tiene demasiado? ¿De qué cosa tiene mucho? Ah, okay, okay. Friends, maybe. <laughs> no. All right. Yes. I have too much work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah or too too many bills to pay right 
too many bills to pay, right? Yeah, I have too many bills to pay <laughs> in my in my house. <laughs> <laughs> me too, right? <laughs> nice. Uh, let me ask um, you this: politics. I'm sorry about that. And then you can ask me, friend. That's okay. What is something that you think the government spends too much money on? <laughs> Aha. No, no, no entendí la última parte. <laughs> What is, do you think that, that uh, Nayib Bukele's cabinet is spending too much money on something? I would say on health. O sea, mucho gasta el gobierno. The, the government is spending too much on what? Well, build, mm -hmm. uh -huh. well, coronavirus vaccine, right? Coronavirus vaccine, yes. Uh, Or maybe the we need the. We need the vaccine. We need a new hospital. We need, uh, uh, I don't know. We need maybe publicity. Publicity, Frank. Pu publicity. Pub publicity. Yes. The new Channel 10 or the new news program they have. I don't know. I mean, no, no we we don't need the. We, we don't need that right? other program. About uh, what, what about what about San Salvador, like uh, Mayor uh, Ernesto Mason? What about the flag, the big flag that, that he built? It's broken. <laughs> yes, yes, it's true. It's broken. Yes, it's, it's true. Broken. It's torn, torn, torn. Torn? Yes, uh, because we're talking about clothes, torn. Broken is por un carro, un teléfono, torn, torn. Rasgado. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say that, that that is something the government of San Salvador spends too much money on, right? The flag. Yeah. Okay. Spend too much money on the flag. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, all right. So, but I think we're, we're good. Let's see two more minutes. Okay. What are a few ways to save a lot of money? Mm-hmm. A few ways to say a little money. If you eat a pump, if I if I'm away. Correct. Correct. And then, mm, not to go out with your friends on, on weekends. Uh-huh. Exactly. And your family. And you have to go with your sandwich and your coffee and <laughs> everything. <laughs> To, okay, yeah, leave, yeah. leave leave your leave your card or your credit card at home and just get twenty dollars. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't do it, but but I just think. <laughs> nice. Well, when I when I go at the at the supermarket, I only see but. No, <laughs> window shopping, <laughs> window shopping, right? Window, window shopping, window only shopping, window right? shopping. Window shopping, yes, that's good too. That's good too. Yes. How uh, much money do you on clothes? On clothes? Yes. Not, I would say, not enough. <laughs> not enough. <laughs> yeah. Not enough. Mm -hmm. I don't have a clothes. <laughs> yeah, I don't have to, I don't have a lot of clothes by the way. What well, let me uh, uh -huh. let, let me ask you this. How much time do you spend on a computer? That's a good question. Well, I work in four hours in my computer. Okay, so you would say day. I I spend a lot of time, you know, or you may say that, right? A lot of a lot of time. A lot of time. A lot of time. Yes, me too. Yes, I think we're fine. So we gotta go back just to say goodbye over here, right? Thank you. Walk. All right. So it's time to say goodbye over there. So if you wanna cry, so cry now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We are the champion. <laughs> we made it, right? Not like El yes. Sal no, not like El Sabo, right? Two days yesterday, right? <laughs> <laughs> A selector, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
No, it's okay. I miss you in the classes. I will miss you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, me too. You're a, you're a good teacher, Francisco. Yeah, thank you, Frank. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Yes, teacher. Oh, you, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Thank, thank you. Very professional. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. I like, I like your, your, uh, you're always laughing. I like that. Ah, uh, yeah. I have, a, I have an annoying laughter, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Class. Thanks for helping us. Class is very fast. Yeah. It's Thank you. Different. Yes. That's the idea. That's the idea. All right. So hopefully I'm gonna meet you next year when you're in advance. You know, over there I'm gonna go even faster, just like this. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <Very fast. laughs> yes. So how are you, I hope you have a great um, Thank you, teacher. holiday. I hope to see you around. Text me if you need my help, all right? I'm not gonna block you. I'm not gonna block you. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Good teacher, I need your help. Yeah, <laughs> no, seriously. All right, so have a great night and Merry Christmas. Good night. Christmas. Good night. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good